How's it going, everybody? I'm Danny D. This is Seven Daily Bananas, and we are about to watch the bear. I'm gonna jump right into this one. This is kind of a marathon of watching. I've never really done this before, watching back to back to back episodes of things. So the last episode kind of felt not as kind, of, not I wouldn't call it intense, but just like as ingraining as the previous two episodes was. And I feel like this next one, I feel like it was kind of a buffer leading to this one. So I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit of a dropper for me. So I got my handy paper towel ready. <laughs> I'm ready, <laughs> just in case. So uh, let's just jump right into this one, all right? All right. <clears throat> and is she driving herself to the hospital right now too? Back. Oh no, you're gonna play this song? Oh no. Claire. Calling the bear. No. This is like her worst Claire. nightmare right now too, fuck. Oh, fucking Claire. Open your window and scream out saying I'm pregnant, fuck. Even I'm panicking right now, seriously. Call mom. Oh shit. Calling mom. Oh, it has this music down for it? Holy fuck, are you kidding me? Wow, that is setting a very specific tone for this. Oh, what Jesus. What are you doing? Fucking A, mom. <laughs> breathe, no, Natalie. This is stressing yes, you me have out. to breathe. No, it's Jesus, calming you down. No. <laughs> oh, no, it's calming you down. Fuck. Hey, shut the fuck hey. up. Oh my god. Oh, the music fucking made sense now, Jesus, and why she left her at the bottom. If, is it me or is I, I'm like waiting for Michael Myers to pop out the side. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, to give birth. <laughs> I walked to the hospital. Wow. Okay, Natalie, you're <laughs> Yes. Can She's hardcore. Five miles in the snow barefoot. <laughs> that the baby comes into something, something really good and, you know. Okay, so no epidural. No, okay. What? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Natalie. Stop. What, what, I'm sorry. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> don't. Natalie, are you out of your fucking mind? I just, why not see if I can withstand the pain? I don't know what it's gonna be. Well, I know what it's gonna be. <laughs> it's your first baby, it's gonna, oh my God. What? Oh, you have a little mark. On your cheek, can I get it off? I mean, I don't no, want you to lose your shit at me. Don't be passive aggressive. I'm not. I'm just saying that every time I try to do something, you tell me to stop. May okay. I get the okay. spot off you your may. cheek? You may. You <laughs> may. My mom used to do that all the time. Lick her finger, fucking wipe shit off my face. <laughs> it's coming. Okay. Breathe, 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 breathe. Uh, he, uh, breathe. Yeah, yeah. This is all a sales pitch for the epidural. He. He, See, there will slow it down. There you go. There you go. She's not giving you. She's not giving you bad stuff. So, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you okay. go. See, it works. Mm. Okay. You'd be surprised at how making breathing sounds helps a lot of things. Anxiety attacks. It's meditative. It gives you a sound to focus on. A rhythm to focus on as well. I want to hear the rest of the story. Okay, 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 okay. Michael. Yeah, you were walking. This is interesting. It's almost like she's kind of almost taking care of her mom in a way. Like there, there's, there's a back and forth with this. It's just an interesting dynamic going on. And I literally shouted. It was like, hello, drugs. Hello, <laughs> please. <laughs> Give me drugs now! <laughs> and you know what? I thought I was gonna be on easy street. Cause I was told, you know, boys are easier. Uh, no. <laughs> are they easier? <laughs> I don't think any of it's easier. Fuck no! It just all hurts the same. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fuck, dude! That's, that's a weird way to think of how the boys are easier. My ass! <laughs> It's your he's, yeah? Yeah, even that, even like the puckering of the lips is good. He, he. Let me rub your back. Okay. I would totally be one of those guys that's having like sympathy pains. I'm feeling your ass and it's just like what your dad. What the fuck, mama? You know what what nice the fuck ass. are you talking about? You had a nice no. butt. Okay, get off me. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. 
Oh my god, what the fuck? Dude, the contractions are coming fast. I'm assuming that's what these are, right? Contractions? You're gonna feel some pressure. Okay. Um. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Five, six centimeters dilated. Okay. It's supposed to get down to three, right? If you were to guess how much longer you think the whole thing will take. Well, however long it takes. <laughs> That's a whole different thing, right? That varies big time. PBH, grab the hemorrhage card. Fuck. Oh my God. Worst nightmare. I think I want the Pitocin. Yeah. The right choice. And maybe an epidural too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. I agree. I think it's scary. Don't get me wrong. I think it's super scary to take a bunch of drugs, but at the same time, like, holy fuck. I feel like everybody's mad at me all the time. Uh-huh. I ask people if they're all right way too much. <laughs> if someone feels sick, I start to feel sick. God, I was the exact same way. My mom said I was the exact same way also. I would apologize for everybody all the time. I would always feel like it's my fault. Don't want her to feel the way that I felt. Oh, she won't. You don't know that. Oh, I do. I do, I do. It's interesting too, because I feel like I've had these moments with my mom almost any time that she has brought up her own guilt and her regret. And she would just be, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I just, I, it almost the same thing as what I told her. It's like, I don't need, I don't, you have nothing to be sorry about. Very much similar to what I'm thinking Jamie Lee Curtis here is kind of projecting as well. Come on. Ooh. 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 Get your hee hees. There you go. There you go. This, this is good. Uh, uh, They're getting longer too, aren't they? You're beautiful. Well, this is working out pretty okay, isn't it? Jamie Lee Curtis, she's doing a great job at this role. She's doing a great job. Hi! Hi. Hi. Okay, she did call him. Hi, you're here, you're here. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm good. Oh my God, baby. Ah. Uh... Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's a good dude. What do I do? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be really hard, I think, for her to be outside of that room, frankly. Your grandma now. <laughs> Stop. Your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. God, this is just nice. It's like the first time we've seen her calm the entire time. That was just nice to see her be able to just kind of rest her shoulder like that and actually take a minute by herself, you know, like not for anybody, just there. All you have to do is reach up in the air and get all you want. Grab one in a can. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, but then a shipment comes in, we Dude. have to do it again, right? What if this is a haunt? It's not a fucking haunt. Do you think this what is a haunt? If this is a Why would this be a haunt? Shut up. Hey, Claire Bear. Yeah? Hey, I'm really sorry. Done. 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 See? Just break down the fucking boxes. Break down the fucking boxes. Yeah, it's just that simple. For sure. Maybe she's haunting. <laughs> That's the best thing about having kind of, uh, again, I, I'm not gonna call them like dumb or anything. It's simple. It's, it's literally just being simple. And goddamn, there's some beautiful wisdom that can come from being simple, you know? Okay, so I, want, I wanted to talk to you because an opportunity came up and it's very, it's exciting. I think you're on the right track, Sid. Just, you kind of just gotta say it out loud. Go! Faster and clean as shit. No, refire again, guys. It cooks off all fucking Jesus night tonight. Let's Christ. fucking go. You guys are fucking killing me. No waiting on Angelotti. 
Jesus Christ, man. This is fucking hell, man. I'm so fucking sick of this. Fucking A. God damn. God damn. I just wanted to wait for that music to stop. I just didn't want to interrupt it. <laughs> Dude, this, this show does such a great job of really amplifying the pressure and the stress. This is one of the few shows where I've really been ingrained in the characters. So them flashing the different sh scenes, you know, it just reminds me how much this show has me. You know, the fact that I'm kind of feeling it with this. Jesus Christ, they do such a great job. And they still don't know about the, about her going to labor, right? No, um. Yeah. No, I've, got, I've got a lot of stuff to do. And... Well, it'll be your last chance to eat. It's ever. Yeah, I, I know. I. So what are you talking about? You should come. Why was she fighting that so much? I mean, well, maybe she's afraid to run into other people or that one guy, maybe? I don't want it to be so hard to keep up with me. Okay. Okay, thank you. What? Then good night. Good night. Jesus Christ. Come on, just fucking talk. Oh God. Come on. Come on. I wanna smack his thumb so it presses the button. Dude, this is just, to me, this is like textbook. I'm a piece of shit thinking, you know, like textbook. It's it's like all he knows is just the work. He doesn't know, I don't know, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I don't think I've ever been at his level of professionalism, you know. I do feel like it's a whole other ball game when you get up into like this kind of thing. Oh, are these just old? These are old. This isn't the, or no, this has to be. Oh shit. Those are all the reviews. If you like this highlight and you want to see more of me watching things like this completely unedited, hit that link below. Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Get in there and start watching TV with me. So look, there's some other info. It is my duty to impart to you. Is it worse than that? Depends. <laughs> oh shit. I can't wait. Can't wait, fuck. Your mom wants you to call her. Uh, it's a baby. I feel like I'm not reacting enough to this, but it's it's interesting to kind of remember what Sid said to Uncle here that you know he was just around, and I think that's where responses like harms come into play. I, I'm I'm willing to bet money that no one is thinking about the situation the same way the Uncle is, simply because of what Sid said that he is around. Just simply your presence has an effect. Has a calming effect. It's, it's, again, there's just a beauty there. There's a beauty there. You apologize, you tell him you love him. You'll make it up to him down the road. But this is this. It is what it is. Oh, you don't shit. have kids. Dude, you have a 15 year old. I'm not talking about him. <laughs> Shut the fuck up right now. First of all, are you gonna be able to continue to pay me money? Second of all, I think this. I think it's probably better for you to experience what it's like to be poor. They say that leads to empathy. Oh, shit. How about you take a nice long walk off a short pier and then go fuck yourself? That's a pretty classic way to say that. That's pretty classic. I've heard that in a few movies. It's like a movie quoted that, as a matter of fact. Actually, you should eat that. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna love that. It tastes just like carrots. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. It's just so interesting to see Rich so calm. The guy's John Wick right now. Look at him. He's fucking clean cut. Even with the beard, he looks clean cut. Just a night and day fucking, oh my God. It's leaps and bounds, this guy. God, he's grown. He's grown. He's already a grown ass man. He's grown so much. My God, love him. It's okay if you're not all right, you know? Sometimes I'll get like, like flashes of her, like memories. Good memories? Yeah. You lucky to have them. I sure am. Fuck yeah. 
Fuck yeah, that was really cool to say. That was really cool to say. My heart's still in it. My dedication's a star. And it shines on our differences. Where's this? This looks lovely. I would have been nice to see this little spot in Chicago. I'm assuming this is Chicago still. I'm not really sure. What I do. There's these moments like this where he's trying to like, you know, trying to find the passion and trying to find the inspiration, trying to find colors and schemes and all this stuff. But again, I feel like it's not the thing he should be working on, you know, like at all. <laughs> Let my future flow out. Fuck these Michelin stars, dude. Fuck them. Like I really just, I wish, I wish I could just tell him like, you know, where's the fun? Where's the beauty of it? You don't need the Michelin stars to fucking prove any of that, you know? Oh, hey, before I forget, um, Nat said I need to look through that thing. Oh, no, you, you, you don't. No, I looked through it. Oh, great. <laughs> That's good, right? Yes, no, it's, it's great. Sorry, I was, um, what did it say? It's a pretty good salary. And I think that he loves you, and, and I want you to know that like when we were kids, and like when we were yeah. in high school, yeah. Yo, what the fuck is he doing? Well, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I walked ahead of you. Where did you shot? turn? Can you not shot in a hospital? Okay, shh, Ted, Can come you in. Can just okay. <laughs> like you both <laughs> These guys, fucking hell. I, I, I don't know, guys. Is this actually yeah. working? Yeah. 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 So I love you both. Yo, yeah. This is so sweet. They you. look so cute doing this, but fuck. No, I don't... But it's so meaningful, and your multiple texts mean yeah. so much to me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who's, uh, who's Diane? I'm, who's Diane, by the way? No, no, no. You fucked enough of my friends. Also, mm. get that checked. <laughs> what? What Kelly said. Just what get that you, checked. What did so Kelly say? You know what I'm what? talking about. <laughs> okay, so I thought the pregnancy was going to last all the way to the end, so I was wrong about that. So I was totally wrong on my predictions. Look at Joe, you, you're so cute. Yo. What religion are we again? <laughs> this is a good song. First week, first day. Ah. Yes, chef. And, uh, and sous chefs have, have you making family meal? Yes, chef. Ah, a lot of pressure. Um, my dentist, my dental hygienist uh, in my teeth. I hate that. Ah, I hate that feeling. Fuck that fe Oh, God, even the sound. Oh. You can see it now, right? Yeah. Exposed. That was a solid mentor right there, I think. You know, definitely one of the better people he's he's worked with. Retired it, huh? Yeah, fastest retired number of all time. I'm honored, thank you. Yeah, man, we're honored. Yeah, fuck yeah, you're honored. <laughs> you saved us some time. Yes, because every second counts, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what a restaurant should feel like when you're working right there. So with the uh, truffle explosion, mm -hmm. is that? Injected or is that like set when you make nah, the pasta? that's set. He seems so nervous. So uh, Luca, Sid. Oh, hey. Yeah. Will. Good, good. Sid. Yes. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Fuck, she's probably like swooning right now. Just like, oh my God, all of these amazing talents in one room. 22, go. 23, go. 24, go. <coughs> 19, walking in four. Table 305, hands please. And it was simultaneously the happiest, most fucking terrifying moment of my life. Mm -hmm. I was staring at it from the pass <gasps> all the way through the dining room, like waiting for the ceiling to collapse or something. It was horrible. That kind of explains why you see those Master Chef places and the, uh, the Master Chef shows, the reality shows, and like, the, you know, you're plating it and getting it all that on time. It feels like that's almost kind of what that would be, you know, just like both terrified as well as just so excited to put it on a plate and stuff. Like, it, it only that, I feel like, you know, the tension's added on. There's always obviously this added pressure and just, oh my God, you can't not gonna get it in on time or whatever. But I used to love watching those shows for that. How many different ways can you get ice cream to taste like corn? bread. <laughs> Turns out months and months of different ways. It's like why I became obsessed with ice cream. I never knew that. Um, That's cool. Oh Does shit. You dine out with your... Oh shit. Can you handle this? Is it too much for you? Answer me. I can handle it. I can handle it, chef. I can handle it, chef. You redid everything. Sid! So Sid! Just to... because you're in the fucking Napa doesn't make this a not fuck business, you know? Has anybody ever left on the pre-order option? <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm. <laughs> Don't say no like that. <laughs> I'm still sharing stories, I just wondered. <laughs> you wanna step off for a second? God, I hate his smile. He just could open a restaurant. Who's we? We who? Me and you, Mike. Hey guys, why don't y'all stop? I'm gonna let Carmi catch up. We threw Julianne showed up. Oh, he's just, God, I'm angry. I really love you. Take fucking hands. Hands. I think why I wanted to be a chef was like, when I was Jesus Christ, dude. We have this opportunity, perhaps even a responsibility, to create <laughs> our own little magical worlds in a world that Scratch is increasingly in need of a little more magic. Dude, I'm telling you, like, people, the people that you serve are such a huge component to the passion behind this. And and I think that's why I like it so much, is because people, helping people, is is has always been part of the things that makes me truly happy. Your failure, your brother hates. Why do you keep trying? Fuck off. What we call this place? God damn. God damn. Got my spoon. I'm going to use my watch. <laughs> Using my Rolex. Um, <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. She seems like such a nice lady. Like if I go and try and learn how to be a chef, I would love her to be my teacher for sure. You kind of repurposed your trauma then, I guess. That's all we can do, right? Is he still, are they just staring at each other, man? Dude, the guy's practically vibrating. Come, you all right, mate? Mm. Yeah, seriously. Hates black pepper for some reason, I'll never understand, and he is getting up. Calm. 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 Seriously, seriously, bro. Shit. Do we think that's gonna end well? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm betting no. All of that sounded like a fuse. <laughs> and now it's about the bomb. Now the bomb's about to go. He got up to do this, though. He's... I always wondered what I would say to you if I got to see you again. After fuck you, I, I, don't, I don't have much. Sounds... Fuck me? Sounds about right. For anything in particular? No, just generally being you, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm seeing a little bit of lip right now from Shameless. That's fucking weird. <laughs> I'm just like half of me is thinking that he's just gonna fucking pop him right now. Fuck. How am I an asshole? Do you have half an hour? <laughs> You're welcome. I'm welcome for, for, for what? You were an okay chef when you started with me. And you left an excellent chef. So you're welcome. Now you have my permission to pop him. Yeah, I gave you confidence and leadership and ability. Fuck you. It fucking worked. I fucking hate this guy already. I already hated him. My life stopped. That's the point, right? That's the point? You wanted to be great. I'm gonna go piss now. <laughs> seriously, seriously, I'm surprised you didn't at least like check him, you know? <laughs> like, fuck. Oh, man, I'm kind of shaking with him right now. What a douche. What a douche. A skadoosh. <laughs> There's still time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't think it's a good idea, but damn, it'll probably feel good for a moment. Um, I just know, um, yeah, this is a big change for you. And yes. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if you'd spoken to him yet, so I didn't No, want. I just, you know, I haven't found the right time, I think, just... And there never is. Yeah, just let me know, just... Okay, okay. yeah, of course. Great, all right, let's yes. get out of here. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. thank all you, right. Chef. Yeah. God, he seems, he seems nervous, excited nervous. <laughs> What the hell are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Sid? I don't think I ever got to tell you just how much I learned in this place. How much did you learn? <laughs> it's a lot. I want to meet people. Mm. Yeah. Live. Precisely. That's why you're closing? Yeah. Yes, sir. It still feels like she's, still kind of feels like she's not want to do it, but. It feels like I've been starting forever. Yeah, the finish line keeps moving. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> but I've heard your restaurant is wonderful. Oh. Congratulations. Uh, I think I'd tell myself that you have no idea what you're doing, and therefore you're invincible. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. That's actually my biggest piece of advice, and a big rule I live by is that I don't know shit. Can I ask you something, Carmen? Shoot. Next time we see each other, yeah. will you call me Andrea? Uh-huh. Yeah, chef. <laughs> Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't 
do anything while you're drinking. Oh, is she having a moment? <laughs> Guys, I just want to give her a hug right now. Oh shit. Oh shit, here we go. Is he reading it? Or is those, what was the damn review? It seemed, it looked mixed. Don't not show us the review. No! Fucker! <laughs> oh, that is so mean. It's a good song though. <laughs> Fuck, seriously. Like, are you just, why do you play games with me? Why? That is not exact, that is nothing where I thought it was gonna go at all. Like, I, I mean, I thought there was gonna be more, more conversations with the mom. I thought there was gonna be more things with the baby. I thought we're, we were gonna get an answer on whether Sid was gonna, for fuck's sake, like nothing got concluded except for the lady closing down a restaurant. <laughs> like, motherfucker, you're just so guaranteeing I'm gonna watch the next season. <laughs> it's so fucked up, you're so mean. The bear, the bear! Damn you, Adcock. <laughs> oh, God, I need to take a break. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. That was such a dope season. That was such an awesome season. I, I can't wait for the next one. Keep me, keep me in tune, patrons, please. Keep me informed uh, of when they're thinking about uh, getting that started, and I will be sure to be ready to go on another marathon and watch the entire thing as quickly as possible. <laughs> that was so much fun. Thanks again, you guys. I absolutely appreciate all the support, and we will see you on the next season.